G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures and today, well, uh, I'm going to be showing you the best FPV box goggle that I have ever seen and that's the reason why I'm holding all these because uh, I have reviewed all these and there'll be links to most of my channels except for the uh, the Goggle 4 which the review will be coming out soon but this here, the Goggle 2 is hands down the best FPV goggle, the box style that I have ever seen. It's far better than any of these here so uh, we've got like the HD VRs, the EVs, the car the Kylans somewhere over here, the Goggle 4, the Furby, the original sort of box style, the Ghetto Goggles. I've reviewed a ton of these and let me tell you that this is the best FPV box goggle that I have ever seen. So I'm super excited, it's super comfortable. What this whole video is going to be about, we're going to stick it on the bench, we'll go through its features and then uh, we'll do a little bit of a play around and have some fun with it, take it out to the field and uh, give it a whirl. We'll also get Grumpy Trev in there as well because uh, he traditionally loves the Fat Shark style goggles and he doesn't really like some of these and the ones that I've given him but I think he's gonna really love trying out these because uh, I'm totally blown away with them so that's why I've redone this intro. Anyway enough rambling from me let's stick him on the bench and get started. Alrighty so here's the goggle on the bench and you get you do get a few different little extras that will very quickly rattle off so uh, you get a bunch of cables and different connectors and things like that so I'll put that to the side and then the other really cool parts of the goggle so we've got the headset it itself and it's very very light feels very very nice. Uh, you get an awesome battery so uh, a 20 2200 milliamp hour battery which is fantastic and you also get two different antennas so you get a patch antenna so you can get some good uh, good directional gain right there and also one of your omnidirectional antennas that will give good 360 degree sort of uh, reception and it does have good diversity so that's something I really like so I'm gonna put these to the side because that's not the important part that makes a goggle the best box goggle in my opinion it's, this is it right here it's the actual unit itself so let's go through some of its features so to start straight off the bat Let's weigh the thing because you're going to be wearing this on your face the whole time. So let's put it on the scales and see how much it weighs. Alrighty, so my scales have zeroed in. Weighing this, I guess if we take this, we better wrap this cord up right there. So it's about 279 grams, 280 grams. Just in comparison, I'm going to stick my fat sharks on right here and we can see just how much my fat sharks weigh. Alrighty, so I've got my uh, Dominator HD V2s right here. So they're coming in at about 230, 240 grams. So there's about 40 grams difference between this little unit right here and this one. Now both of these don't have the batteries and that kind of makes a bit of a difference as well because that's another awesome feature that these ones have. The Goggle 2, their battery right here as well as uh, he comes with a little charger as well but they actually balance their goggle at the back of the head which takes all that that takes that extra weight that the fat sharks traditionally have on the side of your head and it puts that at the back of your head so it balances the goggle very very nicely and keeps this thing super super light on your face which in my opinion was one of the biggest letdowns and why I don't like these goggles traditionally in the past was because they just felt so much more uncomfortable compared to these so these were I could fly with these all day but traditionally in the past the box goggles really cut into my face and felt heavy but that's not the case with this radio let's have a bit of a look at the uh i actually you know what let's have a look at why that is and we'll have a look at how comfy this thing actually is on your face Alrighty, so i've just turned them up here and this is exactly why it's so comfortable you get two pieces of foam that come in the kit i've already stuck mine on right here that you can see and you also get a little piece here that cushions in very very nicely for your nose because that's in the past where i've cut myself up the most this part seems to really rub on my nose but it's not the case with this goggle it's made of some really lightweight foam and this part here sort of helps balance that and cradle that into the top of your forehead and uh, yeah I just find when these slide up on your head they are super comfortable so even probably more I almost want to say more comfortable than the fat sharks now what what the big test will be is when we get Trevor to try these on because he hates the box style goggles so it'll be very interesting to see just what he thinks about these ones right here well, on the side if we flip it over there's some other really really useful features so you've got a band scanner right here here's something that I actually really love about these goggles that's not really available like even the fat shark attitudes don't have this so uh, that's the option for a HDMI input so that's fantastic you can just plug your HDMI straight into here which is uh, ready to rock and roll which can come in very very handy and I'll talk about that a little bit later as well uh, and you've also got some up here's your enter button or your confirmation button and then you can uh, also manually go up and down the channels which is very important because you want to know exactly what channel that you're on we spoke about the HDMI port just here and then also down below you've also got just a little standard uh, where'd I put that plug you can plug this in if you just want to use some old analog video you can plug that straight in there as well to get that feed which is fantastic now towards the front you'll notice it is a little bit hollow out here and I don't know why 
that actually is. That might be just all protection, I guess, on the outside because it doesn't look like the goggles really come past here, but that might be protecting the screen. We've got our antenna diversity that I spoke about, and then we've got our nice, big, bright, uh, well-focused screen. Well, well-focused for me anyway. It doesn't have any sliders on the side, which is a bit of a shame because, look, it, it does work really well for me, but I can understand if that vision isn't right for you, it can make it a little bit difficult, and I don't know how you go about adjusting that screen. Now, a feature I touched very briefly on as well, uh, this thing picks up your 40 channels, so that's great. Cycles through them, just scans through very, very quickly, and then locks to the strongest one, or you can manually go up and down, and it does have that diversity as well. So 40 channel uh, diversity receiver, which is fantastic. Now, I'm actually just gonna plug it in here, so you're gonna have to, have to bear with me, and we'll have a look at the screen. So the screen is, and this is something I really love, that's a 1080p screen, so there we go. That's on the current video one. I'll see if I can put it to HDMI. That might make it stop all that snow coming up. That's our audio visual in. The buttons are really responsive on the side. So this is set up for HDMI, ready to rock and roll. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually dim the lights and show you just why I love that HDMI feature. And I think it's gonna be such an important part, especially for new pilots getting into the hobby. So I'm just gonna turn the lights out one second. Alrighty, so I've turned the lights out just here. I'm just gonna push play on this video, but I want you guys to imagine that this is a simulator. So this is just running on my computer. I've connected it with the HD port, HDMI port right here and flying around. The best thing about these goggles, especially for a new pilot is you can hook these up and you can get flying so straight away uh, you can practice this you don't have to go out at all to the field or anything like that to be practicing flying so I really really like that HDMI input feature and I think it's a really big plus especially for this box style goggle like you could even do some gaming or watch a movie or something on here because the screen is really really clear I mean you are you are playing that simulator on a 1080p screen so I am a massive fan of the HDMI input on these goggles just as a little side note too, I actually found it easy to connect these goggles up. All I had to do, oh, there's in that video, I'm getting a bug that was uh, sort of biting me on the face. But all I had to do was plug it in and put in the power. And I know in the past, I've had some issues when I'm trying to hook up my Fat Sharks with HDMI. You've had to have it on the right settings and everything like this. But because this was 1080p, this thing was uh, super, super easy to get rolling. Alrighty, so that's enough about me rambling about the goggles. What we should actually do now, let's jump down to the field, put them on, fly around with them, record my reactions, what I think about them, and also we'll uh, get grumpy Trevor's opinion as well because I know you guys are gonna love that anyway let's cut down to the field in three two one right so we're down here we're about to try the goggles too and I've sort of left this impression I haven't said too much uh, I've left it for Trevor because traditionally Trevor's not really a fan of these he loves his fat sharks they're his favorite by far so uh, he doesn't he's not really a fan of this box style of goggles so let's put these on so this is the first time that he sort of, I haven't even let him hold it until now. He wanted to try it before, but I had to tell him, wait till I get you on film. Okay, well, they're very comfortable. Gee, they are comfortable. If I could get them in focus, that'd be great. Is there much light leakage? No, hardly any. It's, look, it's a great picture, but... It's just not, not focused well for you, no, for your at, eyes. No, uh, not at all. What about... The picture seems further away, if you know what I mean. The picture seems smaller than what they do with the fat mm -hmm. sharks. What about the weight? Do oh, you look, think? They're, I think they're lighter than the fat sharks. They're very comfortable. As you know, as like we said with those 3D ones, it was uh, they were very uncomfortable. But these are really cool. I'm probably not a good one to judge on this. Look, I can tell you, is they're comfortable, but way out of focus for me. I'd have to wear glasses, I reckon. What about okay? So if that was in focus, what do you think of the goggles? Besides that part, very clear, very comfortable, and that's very important. Look, if they were in focus, I reckon I could fly with them. What about versus all the other box sort of styles that you've flown with in the past? Definitely better. The most comfortable ones I've had on my head. Yeah. But you need, need a slider to get them... In focus. Yeah. Because for old folks, like some people, you know, Bruce... <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see how these go. I'm gonna uh, take Trev's quad up right here. And uh, I don't think the focus is so much of an issue as, as Trevor was saying. I think they're pretty fine from, from my eyes anyway. Very clear picture. Uh, I think the field of view is actually a lot bigger than the Fat Sharks. It feels like I'm looking at almost like a, a big screen TV. The colors look good. Um, in terms of light leakage, I actually think there's more light leakage on my Fat Sharks compared to these. So very, very dark. Uh, how they feel very light on my face. Oh, I hit the ground there. It wasn't oh no <laughs> It crashed me quite yeah, I crashed you quite but they feel very light on my face I'm a, you know, I think these are uh, it's a, a real step in the right direction for me in terms of actually flying with these It would be great if they did have one of those sliders I definitely think that's a massive letdown, but for my eyes they felt they felt fine Well another 10 years it won't be <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hang on. All right, I'm going to go get that quad and we'll do a bit more filming. Alrighty, so flying around, yeah, same, sort of same as before. A really clear picture, nice colours. I like your OSD on here, Trev. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably most impressed with how comfortable this feels on your face. Like, it doesn't feel heavy like a lot of the other goggles. My favourite, besides this one so far, has been the Kylan. But look, they were very budget. But these ones here, yeah, look, no problems hitting gates or anything like that. But these ones feel much better than that. Yeah, no light leakage. Really, the, the viewing experience is fantastic. They're great for my eyes. I have no issues whatsoever with terms of focus. But I can totally understand that's a bit of a letdown for someone else. If your eyes, if you're a bit oh, short-sighted or far-sighted or anything like that, definitely a slider would make a big difference. I think that's a... That's a bit of an, an oversight, I think, in this goggles design. This is a, a real good step in the right direction for what we want in one of these box style of goggles because in the past, look, they've been okay and nowhere compared to Fat Sharks, but I can totally see people, I can totally see people in the future, you know, they actually might prefer this to Fat Sharks. And there's a lot of pilots out there who actually prefer like this larger box style on their face. And uh, if, if that's you, this is probably definitely one of the goggles. This is, in my opinion, the goggle to consider because yeah, it, it feels great, really, I know I keep saying it, but really comfy and really light. All right, I'm gonna bring this in for a landing and then uh, do a bit of a recap. So there it is, there's my review with the Eshin Goggle 2 and uh, I am really, really impressed. I think you can tell that the whole way through this review. Uh, I didn't really like its predecessor, so when we talk about the, the VR D2s right here, and I do have a review of this and I'll leave the link up somewhere, I didn't really like these quite as much. But uh, they've done a massive job overhauling everything they've done to create this super light, feature-packed, really, really comfortable, uh, awesome looking FPV goggle. Now, look, not everything's perfect on here. There's still room for, for improvement. So maybe if they ever do a Goggles 3, and, uh, but then they're, they're very small improvements. So really all I'd like to see is an easy to use DVR recorder that would be in there that didn't disrupt your video and maybe a little slider there because even though the goggles were perfect for me, I know that Trev have a, had a little bit of an issue. So maybe if you've got some older eyes or uh, some, some sort of focusing thing going on right there, it would be very nice to have a little slider that you can slide up and down. But other than that, this is a massive step in the right direction. Really, really light. I love everything that they do. So hands down, this thing right here, the goggles too, gets my best box FPV goggles so far because I am totally blown away. I didn't think I was going to like them as much as I do. So hopefully that helped you guys out there. Uh, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up or a like because that goes a long way and it's one of the best ways that you can help the channel. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. It's amazing just how light they feel on your face. Like it doesn't feel bad at all. So uh, we've got another stew right here and uh, hey, have you tried any of the other types? One. One of them that you had? Yeah, and what did you think? Yes, no, no. Your, not your fan. No. So the reason this is important, because he's not going to get to fly with them because he's ducking off, but uh, I want him to put these on his head and just tell me what he thinks, that's I guess, that's about that's how they feel. Take, yeah, take these off. All right. What do you reckon? It's very dark. They're actually quite light. Yeah. It sits well on your head, I'll give it that. You're not noticing there's a giant thing out here, but I don't know, yeah. But uh, okay, this it's comfy. Were they better than what you thought they were going to be? Yes, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're a whole lot more comfortable than I thought, and you don't feel that weight of the length of it. Not at all. They look good on you too, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.